you know, the interesting part about that Oakland get score, uh, the 49-7 victory by Oakland, that sets up another Battle of the Borough matchup next week in the second round of the playoffs. Riverdale will travel to Oakland. Yeah, and, and uh, you can believe Riverdale, I'm sure, would uh, like to get another shot after how that went last time. Well, I tell you what, let's just don't speculate. Let's just go find out from the from the man himself. We've got Ron Adelot. He is the head warrior. Uh he joins us on the Cook Neon hotline. Uh Cook Neon will help you design and create your sign, and also install your sign, repair your sign, keep up your sign. They do it all. Cookneon.com. Ron Adelot, the head coach for the Riverdale Warriors, joins us on the Cook Neon hotline. Coach A got a big, exciting uh, win uh, down at Bradley Central last night. Actually, the game was in Chattanooga, but over Bradley Central. Coach, uh, congratulations on the win last night. Thank you. We, we appreciate that. Uh, yeah, we were the kids were excited. Uh, you know, we played well in, in spots and survived some situations, and uh, it was a good win. Uh, well, any win in the, in the second season is a good win, but especially how you guys went about it. You you get down there uh, uh, fourth and goal one time. You don't get in. Uh, you come back down there. You I've, I didn't find out till this morning that you had a kicker that was injured, but uh, you go for it again on fourth down, and uh, uh, your big quarterback powers it in. That's got to be rewarding. Well, it was. You know, we, we talked about the field goal, and I discussed it, and there's some guys that wanted to go for that, so I would be the bad guy. I guess I would be the guy that would, you know, get uh, rolled on the bus on that. But, you know, the play was, you know, instead of going for the tie, was going for the win. Obviously, Bradley's got a great offense unit, and uh, to our credit, the defense held him down the second half. And uh, But, you know, it, it was an opportunity for us to get a big win. You know, it has been a we had lost three in a row, and, you know, our kids were a little bit downtrodden, and they got excited, and I, I felt good about the vibe in the huddle, and, you know, we decided to go for it, and obviously we were successful, and then in soon kick off, and, uh, you know, played a little defense, and, and all was good. Uh, Dennis Weaver, Josh Peterson talking to Ron Adelot. He is the head coach for the Riverdale Warriors. Joining us here on the Friday Night Thunder Scoreboard Show. Coach, you played that game uh, on a Thursday night. Talk a little bit about the the decision to move that and what that does for uh, what that does for your preparations in a game week and, and how that benefits you moving forward. You got an extra night of rest, I guess. Well, we did. Uh, they had called on Monday. Their field was in such bad shape. Apparently, they had gotten more rain and played uh, several games in the rain. Their field was cut up, and if you know anything about Bradley County, the, the field is down in a bowl, kind of like Lincoln County, and there's very poor drainage, so their field has very little grass, and it was you know, about ankle deep in mud, and they are expecting more rain, obviously, and they got more rain. And um, They offered that opportunity. They, they didn't uh, force us to do that, obviously, we had a choice, and we decided that, you know, I, my, my thought was it was a it was a good thing for the kids to play on the surface where it would be fair for both teams. And uh, uh, so we decided to do it. And obviously the team that wins, you know, looks like the looks like the hero. <laughs> the team that loses looks like the goat. So, uh, you know, I I hate it for Coach Floyd. He's a really good guy. And they've got a really good football team. He's, good, he's done a great job. But, uh, you know, we were fortunate. And our kids played really hard last night. And I was excited for them. Uh, your your kids. Uh, you, you're you were talking about this in the newspaper. Uh, share with our listeners here. Uh, you you were a little worried about their their passing attack, but your uh your back four your or your secondary. You probably used five and six at times. Uh, your secondary really answered the call, didn't they? Yeah, the second half. You know, they they hit us. We we broke down some coverages early uh, in the in the first half. You know, we blew a couple of things that were relayed from the sideline, uh, mostly linebacker stuff and a couple of a couple of safety corner stuff. But uh, but basically, uh, you know, our four our four guys, you know, they had thirty yards in the second half passing. You can't ask for much more than that. That means that you know that's pretty much the total effort that the kids were getting pressure on the quarterback. He had to get rid of the ball. Um, you know, a lot of the yards in the first half were scramble yards, so they understood that they had to you know finish plays. And, uh, you know, I thought the defense did an outstanding job, especially in the second half. Mason plays had two picks. Gentry Bond had a couple of big picks and played, uh, you know, exceptional in the second half. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, the second half we just came out and played, which is an 
not been our MO the last three weeks. Well, Coach Adelot, I know we, we talked about this. You probably heard it in the lead-in. You get another shot at Oakland. They're, they're playing really well right now, but you're, you don't have to uh, – you won't have to manufacture any excitement for that game with your kids, will you? Well, I hope not. I mean, Oakland is a class of our region. There's no question they're the best team in the region. It'll take it'll take a you know extremely good effort from our part. But I think our kids will be excited. You know, they're excited about getting the win and have another chance to play another week. So, uh, uh, you know, we don't have to climb on a long bus drive and. Uh, you know, we know what they are, and, you know, hopefully our kids will say, you know, we can play with these guys. We we, we played with them for a half, but obviously the second half, they they uh, took our will a little bit, and we turned the ball over three times. But, uh, you, know, I, you know, I hope we get excited. And, you know, any time that Oakland and Riverdale play, it's always a big opportunity and a big game. Coach, you are always kind to share your time with us, especially on a night off tonight. I uh, I hope I didn't keep you up too late. <laughs> well, it's tough at my age, Wade, but uh, no, I'm good, man, and I appreciate you having us on. So uh, hopefully we'll represent. We, we can do it again next week in a, in a positive manner for sure. I appreciate it as always. Good luck to you in your preparation for Oakland. And uh, uh, and if you see T-Bone, tell him that we've said hello, okay? Yes, we, we're all our prayers and hearts go out to him, that's for sure. We're, we're checking on him and uh, hope everything, you know, we just hope we pull him through. That's, yeah. That's 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 awfully uh, awfully tragic to hear that, and hope, hopefully we get good news on that. Again. Yeah, well, tell Limbaugh to keep me updated on that, okay? We will. Thank we you, buddy. Will. Thank we'll you, man. Talk to okay. you soon. Appreciate it. Uh, that yeah. is Ron Adelot, the head coach at Riverdale. I, I I texted him last night on the way back and told him congratulations and asked if we could get him on the on the on the show. And he goes, "Gosh, I don't know. It's awful late for me." And just laughing. He yeah. uh, he's. Uh, yeah, coach is going to be asleep at nine twenty four on Friday often, night. Yeah. It, it really did.